press start and welcome back to some more Super Metroid. I still don't know what we're doing. <laughs> uh, we're going to this uh, water place called Meridia. You're, basi you're basically just kind of doing stuff <laughs> uh, the, and I have no idea what you're doing. Um, okay. You're we're just going, gonna you're going to detour. places and then things are happening and I'm just like, alright, I can accept this. I also forgot to come back in here. It's a good thing you haven't landed bombs or else that room would be irritating. Yeah, it would be. Alright. You know what? Screw it. Right, going through that again. Alright, so I'm just gonna go down here into this next room real quick and then uh, we'll be good. Oh right, I forgot. Pirate. <laughs> they're not pirates. They're space pirates. Well, what? no they're not. Other, if they were, they'd be wearing like a pirate hat or they'd have an eye patch or a peg leg or something. This is not up for debate. If you don't have at least one of those things, you're no pirate. That's pretty stereotypical of you. Yeah, your point. Isn't it rude to stereotype? So much. This is actually one of the most annoying puzzles in the game. Can you just run over them anyway? Not unless they're frozen. What are you... So is this supposed to accomplish something? Yes. Couldn't you have just done that anyway? No, you have to, like, charge the speed boost. Yeah, but... By pushing down, and then you fly up. Otherwise, I can't break open these. See that, that little dash mark? That means I need the speed... To use the speed boost. Yeah, but you already ran over them while they were frozen once, and then you ran back. That's because I didn't hit down in time. I hit the wall before that happened. Anyway, now we're going to go back up. Oh, we have some more super missiles. Are your ordinary run-of-the-mill missiles not getting the job done? Try super missiles. They're going to help against uh, one of the last bosses. They're going to help against one of the last bosses. <laughs> And if you call within the next three seconds, we'll double your offer. Absolutely free. Oh, too late. Should have called fast, you stupid idiot. No extra missiles for you. E but wait, there's more. Uh, I, would, I just wanted to call you an idiot again. Idiot. <laughs> yeah, idiot. All our viewers are idiots. I, although it, that that's that's like, uh, that's like not an insult because so are we. Yeah. We're comrades, except we're not communists. <laughs> <laughs> you know, at first I thought you were gonna say that we were communists. <laughs> <sighs> Oh wait, this is just the map. We don't need the map. Where we're going, we don't need a map. Actually, I do. Alright, this is gonna help us to <clears throat> get some more goodies. And it's gonna quote unquote teach us how to play a little bit. I make fun of commercials a lot because in reality I just I hate commercials so much. Ooh, okay. Gotta Don't you? Careful here. There we go. Don't you hate commercials? Yeah. Commercials are why I just I just stopped watching TV and like just switched to streaming. I couldn't do it anymore. Yeah. That's fair. 
Are you wondering why I jumped over that random spot on the floor? No. I'm well, guessing it's a trap. Yeah. It's trap! Well, I guess you wanted to go down there now. Yeah. Wait, so then it's not a trap. It's just an area you didn't want to go to yet. Yeah. Then why'd you say it was a trap? Well, because if I had missed it, then we would have had to go all the way back. Not cool, man. So I'm pretty sure we can only kill those guys with bombs. You guys can correct me in the comments if you want. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Anyway, this is how it teaches you how to wall, or this is where it teaches you how to wall jump. Actually, I don't need to go in there because that just leads us back. Just more power bombs. There's, there's one there's one commercial I, I like saw recently that just it just enforces my ev like everything I say about commercials about how they're just the worst. Like they they tr they they have these painfully unfunny attempts at humor. Like the commercial I saw was like some it was some insurance commercial about like a cop with like his partner is an emu. Oh and yeah. It's, it's just like <laughs> that, that emo. That emu's in a police car. That's not normally where emus are. Get it? <sighs> and I'm just like, I'm disappointed in everything that you are. <laughs> I mean, obviously not. Not all commercials are bad. Like I've seen, I've seen a few commercials that are actually really funny. But they are definitely the minority. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely true. Like a large minority. <laughs> or a small minority, I mean. Not sure why that why that thing is spikes is there. I'm not sure if that can actually hurt you or not. Maybe you can blast through it by accident or something. Uh, maybe. But then I don't know why you would blast the floor in that spot. <laughs> Beats me. Anyway, now we've completed our first full row, full row of energy tanks. You should try to blast the floor anyway. Yeah, you can blow it up with a bomb, but other than to, s other than uh, to just see if you can do that, there's no reason for you to yeah. do that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I don't know why that's there. Well, here's another thing we couldn't get to before. Ooh, a secret within the secret. This game is chock full of secrets within secrets. So even if we got power bombs, we couldn't do this until we got the gravity suit because we're in water. And we need the speed booster, speed boots, whatever. And look, another energy tank. Yeah, I was doing some practice beforehand, and the area that we're going to, um, Radia, for those of you who haven't played the game, I didn't realize how much pain you could actually suffer in that area. And I will admit, it's probably my least favorite area in the game. So I'll just try and get through it as quickly as possible. Alright. So now we're gonna... Or not. 
still love how Samus flails her arms around to run fast. <laughs> so like, does she have like some guy monitoring her on her missions? Uh, nope. Not until the bad one that no one talks about. You know, like a sort of guy in the chair type of thing? Not until the bad game. Cause I, well, because I can just picture... Game. Cause I, I can just picture like her running around flailing her arms and her, her guy in the chair is like, what are you doing? I'm being efficient. <laughs> Do you remember this place? Yes. I can move one frame faster. What are you talking about? <laughs> so there was an energy tank up here that we couldn't get that was just barely out of reach without the high jump. So are you just hunting for energy tanks now? No, I'm just doing like a tiny bit of cleanup so that I'm prepared for this next area. This is like the last little bit of cleanup right here. Are you ready to have your mind blown? Was that a glitch? No. There's then... just an invisible floor there. Oh. <laughs> also remember secrets within secrets? They fly now! <laughs> they fly now? They fly now! I, I still haven't even watched that movie. I... You're not missing out on much, my I friend. I just, oh, I don't have the will to want to see it. I don't know. Maybe, maybe at some point, I, th I think at some point I do need to, like, watch, like, rewatch the original trilogy and go through all of, the clo all of Clone Wars to, like, remind myself why I cared about this universe in the first place. Yeah. For real. Because I really have forgotten about why I've cared, <laughs> like, at the moment. Yeah. Like, I don't... I just... I just like to pretend that the sequel trilogy just never happened. I just don't... In my own head canon. I don't have any desire to watch Star Wars stuff right now. <laughs> I After watching the end of Clone Wars, I'm just kind of Star Wars'd out, honestly. I've been Star wars out since the last Jedi. <laughs> so, like, I, I haven't seen Solo. I haven't seen Rise of Skywalker. I'll probably watch Rise of Skywalker eventually, but I'll never watch Solo. Yeah, you're not missing out. Uh, oh, yeah, we got plenty of time still. Yeah, you are not missing out on I, Solo, trust me. I had, I have never... I've seen, like, a bit of Clone Wars before, like, I think the first season. But, like, I never finished it, and I haven't seen the new final season. And I haven't seen The Mandalorian. <laughs> Which are both great shows, I just, by the way. I just don't... I just don't wanna. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, EA is making a new Star Wars game about flying ships in space, and I'm just like, eh. I'll wait on that. As much as I love games like Rogue Squadron, I just... After Rise of Skywalker is really kind of what burnt me out on Star Wars, and then um, The Mandalorian kind of reignited that a little bit, and then once I finished Clone Wars, I kind of felt the sense of finality until Mandalorian Season 2 comes out. Oh, yeah, this it's, is one of the coolest parts of the entire game. I do like the way this looks. I like the way that glass looked, Caden. Sorry, not sorry. <sighs> That's the I best guess, way to get in there. Anyway. I guess the only Star Wars content I'll be consuming in the near future is that like huge Lego Star Wars collection. I guess I'll like I'll get that. I guess, but the Skywalker saga. Yeah. Yeah, because Lego Star Wars, uh, the complete saga, is my favorite Lego game. I, 
I didn't have the complete saga. I had Lego Star Wars 2, but, you know, that's still some Lego Star Wars that I grew up with. Yeah. And I, I, I do still have that game. It's really good. Lego Star Wars 2 is really good, and the complete saga is even better. I feel like this sequel trilogy has made us all just, uh, like, reflect and look back and say, we were too hard on the prequels. Yeah. <laughs> We really were. <laughs> we didn't know how good we had it. Yeah. Seriously. Are you... <sighs> eh, whatever. It's just a missile pack. I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it. Like I said, this is not 100% Let's Play. You know, it kind of looks like it is right now. It's not. You know something I wish uh, more movie series and TV shows would do. What's that? One of, one of my favorite things about Avatar The Last Airbender is it tells it tells its three season story like this this fantastic amazing story and then it ends and it has finality and I feel like more things need that. Yeah, seriously. I don't know. I mean, I, the original Star Wars trilogy had that. Yeah, I do I do kind of wish they just stopped at the original trilogy. Because that would have had plenty of, like, finality. Yeah. It's like, when when you stretch, when like, whether it be a TV show or a, or a movie series, when you stretch it out for too long, eventually it's gonna turn sour. And that it's just like, please... Please tell the story you want to tell and just end it. Yeah, I feel that. I mean, I guess the like with some game with some games this would also apply, but like others no. Like take Mario for instance, it's not really Mario is not about the story, it's about the gameplay. Yeah. So it doesn't really, it doesn't really have a story to finish, so they can just like keep making uh, games with fun gameplay and they're good. Yeah, pretty much. Like, uh, oh man, what, what's a what's a story heavy game? That's uh, like part of a series. God of War, I guess. The PS4 one. Yeah. Er. er is like PS, is the PS4 one like a start of like a new God of War continuity? No, I guess Uncharted would be another good example. Well, I don't know. I, f again, if it's a story-heavy game, I do feel like eventually you should have the same sense of finality. Yeah. Because it can't go on forever, and if you try to make it, then it'll start to suck. Last of Us, that's not a really good one. Yeah. Either either because either because like the original people who made it so great leave <laughs> and they're replaced by people who who just don't get it. Or or like the original team runs out of ideas. Yeah, sorry, I just need to keep talking. Well that that was the end of that thought. Oh. Okay. There's probably some more reasons that, like, a show could turn bad, but those are, like, the two, the two, like, big ones that happen most of the time. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, it would kind of be like if they brought back Iron Man in the MCU somehow. Yeah, I ha I have talked about that. Like, like I'm fine. I'm fine with him in like, like if they want to bring him back in like movies that take place before he died. Like, I don't really prefer that, but it's fine, I guess. Or if they want to like bring in alternate universe versions of him in Marvel, what if? I'd act I'm all for that, but I never want to see him resurrected. Like, as much as I like Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man, like, don't bring him back, please. Yeah. He had, he had his, like, 
his greatest heroic moment ever in Endgame, and bringing him back to life after that will ruin that entirely. Please don't do it, Disney. I know you love money, <laughs> but please don't. I don't think they're going to do that. They're not that stupid. Plus, I mean, those movies aren't really run by Disney like Star Wars is. That's the, That was the problem with the sequel trilogy. Disney had both not enough control uh, and too much control at the same time, if that makes sense. I, you know, I think I think someone they should have like given a chance was to make a Star Wars movie was James Gunn. He would have made a great Star Wars movie, actually. Ah, uh, he he would have been the perfect director that yeah, director to make Solo. He would have, yeah, he would. He should, mm, yeah. Yeah, James Gunn should have made Solo. <laughs> I think he would have done a great job. Seriously. Because, you know, Star-Lord is kind of... He has some similarities yeah. to Han Solo. He's like that snarky space rogue. I don't think it was you who said it, but one of our friends, Ryan, said that Chris Pratt should have been the young Solo. Young Han Solo. Who, who is young Han Solo? I don't know his name. I but I think know. Chris Pratt would have been a way better choice, personally. I know... I know he hates playing the character, but Harrison Ford is Han Solo, and you can't take that away from him. Yeah. But I mean, if there if somebody was to pick like another Indiana Jones or Han Solo, I would go with Chris Pratt, honestly. Can't wait for Indiana Jones five next, like sometime. Because that's a making, thing. They're making a new Indiana Jones. Yep. And you know who's in charge of it? The person who ruined Star Wars. Oh, boy. Good yeah. thing I don't have emotional attachment to Indiana Jones. Guess who does have emotional attachment to Indiana Jones? Harrison Ford. Oh, yeah, Harrison Ford's going to be starring in it, too. It's not a good idea. I didn't know you liked Indiana Jones. I love Indiana Jones. I don't like the fourth one, but nobody does. And I think The Temple of Doom is an underrated movie. I mean, they're... I haven't really... I think I've seen, like, little bits of the first one, and, like, it's alright, but... I'm surprised. I think you would like them. Well, one, two, and three, you would like. I do... One, one of my favorite moments that I've seen from Indiana Jones is, like... is like, this one... They're, like, in the Middle East, I think, and this one guy, like, pulls out his sword, and he's, like, swinging around, do all, doing all this cool... All these cool moves with it and stuff. And, you know, as sort of like an intimidation thing, like, yeah. ha, look what I can do with this sword. You want to fight me? And he just pulls out a gun yeah. and shoots him. <laughs> it's like, whatever, man. I'm not doing this with you. Oh, I love that. You know what they say. Don't bring a sword to a gunfight. Yep. We're just going all over the place with topics today. <laughs> yeah. I'm fine with it, though, honestly. Yeah. What time are we at on the episode? Uh, 24 minutes. Oh, yeah, we should probably end the episode. Again, I, I haven't been paying attention. <laughs> I know, I've been doing a lot of stuff that I'm, that I'm surprised you haven't commented on. <laughs> you broke... The last thing I remember you did is you broke that glass I liked. Well, this wasn't the same room, but... It's still broken. Alright, well, we're going to end the episode here. Uh, we'll see you guys uh, next time for some more Super Metroid, where we'll... Uh, find, hopefully, fight the boss. Things will happen. Yes. <laughs> see you guys next time. That's a guarantee.